Hello again. Today we had a question from a longtime user who wanted to run a report which showed which stamps she had inventoried and had changed the supplied uh, easy stamp market values to use her own values, her own custom values. Although there is no supplied report specific for this purpose, the options available in easy stamp make this quite easy. One of the most used and powerful reporting options is the power search, which will give us the report we want. I'm working with the user's actual data. She's from Germany, and she was working on her uh, collection from Jordan. If I run a basic Quick Stats 1 report with images, which is available here, we can see the inventory currently entered. There we go. It's not obvious from this report uh, which stamps the user has modified to use easy stamp market values for. So we will run the power search to filter these out. Let's close this report. We'll go to search, power search, and we will be searching inventory, inventory data only for inventoried grades where the your value is greater than zero. And we will be using the default power search supplied uh, report profile. So if we click find, we found five and we'll show them. And here they are. And from here you can easily see the values that the user has changed based, uh, compared to the supplied values that we're, we provide. Now as in any report in EasyStamp, once a report is generated, we can also change the report profiles. So let's change this to the default QStats1. So we go to the Options menu, Change Report Profile, and then we're going to choose default QStats1, which is down here in the list, and we'll do it with images. And it just represents the data again. So again, you can obviously see the differences in the prices. Uh, the supplied value 66, she had changed it to 90 and so forth. Let's change it one more time and we'll run it with the default basic inventory report, which is right here. And again, you can easily see which values have been changed by the user. We can't emphasize enough that the power search is a very useful tool for generating reports and looking at your data in many different ways. Let's close this. The last question the user had asked us was how she could put the values back to supplied easy stamp market values. She had been using Stanley Gibbons values and realized that they were retail values and not real market values as an easy stamp. We can easily, easily accomplish this. We recommend that you perform a backup prior to setting the values back just in case you make a mistake or need to retrieve them later. First, I will back up the current data. We can hit F7, which is the shortcut key, or we can go to File, Country Data File Utilities, Create Backup, and uh, it will put it in the default location. Leave the backup name as is unless you need to change it. And I will put a description in there uh, with, uh, such as, with custom values. So we know what it is, and then we back it up, and that's done. And now we will reset the prices back to supplied. All we need to do is go to File, Country Data File Utilities, uh, perform the pricing supply data update and the critical thing you want to do here is in the options you want to choose this one here zero out your custom prices and update pre-supplied prices click on update and when that's done if we go back and run uh, any of those reports again so let's do the power search and the conditions are the same. We click find and there are no matches found. We hope this will be useful to you and many other users. Enjoy.